Welcome to Clown Town. Hey guys, Crab Clown Jimmy here, and welcome back to Clown Town. Today, just like yesterday, there's a lot of stuff to do. As a reminder, we have our food and meds and everything else in our boxes here behind us. Our forage is working right over there. Our stuff to sell is in that box right behind us. And we have a workbench at a house across the street. Right now, just like last time, we are in a scramble for some resources. We need iron, we need rocks, we need clay. We have to make some cobblestone. And I really, really hope we can get started on a bicycle or a mini bike today. But truth be told, we still have to get a few more levels right now. Let's get to scrounging. All right, we popped into this house to see if we could find something lucky. We just found a face! Oh, oh. Lights on. Yes, sir! Oh, we brought a friend. Ain't got nothing on these iron knuckles, boy! All right, what else do we have? Who else is in here? Right here? Cheerleader? Knocked out! Oh, yeah! I mean, I think I hear one more, but I don't know where she's coming from. Well, here you are. Yes! Uh. If you've been watching Crab Clown Jenny for any amount of time, you know that I release videos on every Friday, but last week we decided to try something new with that Tabs video instead. If you haven't checked it out, be sure to do that. It was a ton of fun to make and I really, really like the game. Of course, Seven Days to Die is our main source of content on this channel, so if you're here for that, then you can definitely count on seeing that more often. But I had a lot of fun playing Tabs. I really want to get your opinion on that as well. Uh, for now, if you're new to Crab Clown Jimmy, if you are a new subscriber or just a visitor today uh, know that we release on every Friday and the Clown Town series we are really really hoping to take at least to episode 10 truth be told this is actually a really difficult series to do I guess there's nothing outside uh, and so hoard every night as we all know can be pretty difficult so as it scales upward as it gets continually difficult we just have to be mindful to manage our expectations but for now we have a lot of things that we need to get <laughs> Not today. <laughs> uh, will you stop that? We know that this evil spirit clown has been painting the place and, of course, interrupting us all the time. He's even forced his way into the introduction of the series somehow. But for now, let's just keep looking around. Maybe we'll find exactly what we're looking for. Really, we need a few levels, but definitely some more iron. Let's keep looking. Maybe we can get a sneaky shot right here. Wait, is that not a zombie? Ugh, oh, it's just a devil bag. Okay. You know, they all kind of look the same to me. Let's see what's behind this picture. Nothing. Let's see what we find in here. Just stuff to scrap. We'll scrap this. We'll scrap this. Let's see. We need a little bit of food. We'll go ahead and take that. It's not bad. And uh, we could use a little bit of coffee. We'll go ahead and take that. So... Not looking too shabby. We'll get rid of that. I got a car engine earlier while I took apart a car. Uh, I do think it's going to help us be really, really successful to have at least a few Molotov cocktails here uh, in the earlier parts of this series uh, because it really, really kills two or three zombies at a time. And really, day six doesn't bring a whole lot of zombies, so we just want to be mindful uh, to kill as many as we can without getting hit on too much. Now, what I failed to show you last time is that I did come over here and drop two perk points into intellect so that we can get grease monkey up pretty quickly we can go ahead and take the bicycle point but if we get two points i'm hoping to get over here and take a mini bike master which you know it looks like it needs intellect level four so we're going to need three points one two and three by that time we'll have the mini bike and we will be able to skirt around here and find the stuff we need a little bit quicker for now let's figure out how to get on this roof all right, so I chose to pull up here. Let's see if there's anything worth looking at. And looks pretty empty. I guess you just fall down into it. Maybe that's where that one rogue cheerleader came from. Okay, I guess we're done with this house. But while we're up here, let's have a quick look around to see if we can't find any iron nodes or anything like that. I see some rocks back there right around where I have the reticle pointing. And of course we have uh, the hospital over there. Not necessarily anything I want to look at over there. Uh, at least not yet. Maybe we'll go over there before. Oh, look at backpack. 
yeah, maybe we'll go over there before the series ends, or maybe once we finally kick the bucket, we'll just, you know, throw all caution to the wind and go see if we can get to the top in like a speed race. But that was the house that you guys told me that I had missed some stuff in. So let's pop down there. I think we were in that house last episode. I've already broken my leg. Oh, don't jump down. No better than that. All right, let's go get in that house, see if we can't find the loot we missed, and uh, we'll see what's next. All right, guys, the crab is back. I hope none of you have respawned. All right, let's find our way back to the top of this joint. Ooh, you know what we need? Let's pull apart this car. We need everything. All right, not a bad haul, even though we are starting to get encumbered. Okay, that takes us outside. I can't believe it was just last episode, and I already don't remember how to find my way around. Let's see, empty laundry basket. Here's the kitchen. All right, we're trying to go up, aren't we? Because here, oh, yep, the stairs. Okay, I'm pretty sure that stopped me last time. And here we are, popping our heads out here. All right, I have a broken leg, so I, I really shouldn't be jumping all that much because you lose a little bit of health every time you jump uh, with a broken leg. I don't want that die. Okay, let's see if we can get on that roof. Oop, jumped again. Oop, jumped again. And, uh, okay, so... Here we are. Maybe this is where we have to platform. There we go. See? This is where we didn't check. There's the lantern. And huh, all right. And here is trash that we haven't found yet. So a little bit of brass. We'll just take that. We won't scrap it yet. And uh, we will try to be safe here because I'm already beating myself up just having to jump like this each time. Pull out ye old iron knuckles and get to work. Headed upstairs. Headed upstairs, we can make it happen. Headed upstairs, headed up. Oh, wow. Okay, you guys didn't hear me coming? I was literally rapping out loud. All right, take one. You know, some days you just step off the shelf, get beaten in the mouth over and over by a larger man and die on the floor with your mouth open and your eyeball hanging out. But listen, it can't always be your day. You know, today is my day. Maybe tomorrow will be your day. Maybe yesterday was your day. But for now, let's have a really should stop talking to the zombies, crab. <laughs> will you stop that? All right. Well, things are already weird and creepy. This floor looks like it gives out. Here's hoping that I can make it across. Let's see. All right. It holds a hundred. Run across, run across. Ooh, I was totally right. Oh my gosh. A dog. Oh, how did he not see me? Let's try to get sneak damage. Oh yeah, Crab Clown Jimmy's here, boy. All right, so I guess, I bet we don't go out here. It looks like this is where all the stuff's going to be. You don't want to step on the, the light-colored blocks there because they fall through. And let's see if I can grab this right. Nope, it's not close enough. Okay, yeah. Whew. Definitely don't want to have to fall down and figure this back out again. I'm not sure I can solve this puzzle twice. And cobblestone is really, really good to have. Let's see. Do we have a knife? Do we have anything? Bone pick? Anything? I guess not. Let's just chop this guy up with the stuff we have. I know we'll get enough bones to do this, but I really don't like carrying around a bone shield. It kind of occupies too many spots for me. And uh, here we are. Yes! It's a good day to be a crab. All right, the mega loot. Man, I'm so glad you guys told me to come back here. I can't believe I almost skipped all of this stuff. Look at all of this great stuff. And maybe we'll score ourselves a blunderbuss today. That'd be really, really great. Like a linebacker! Such good news. Look at all this great stuff that we have. And here's like the bone pick and stuff we were talking about needing. All right, we'll take this and this and this. Ooh, the barbed wire mod schematic. I wonder if that can go on the knuckles. I doubt it, but let's go ahead and read that. And then we have the robotic turret schematic. We'll read that. We'll uh, scrap the bone since we actually have a real knife. I guess I'll just hang on to that. Uh, we have a pile of stones. We're not using sledgehammers, but I definitely want to bring this guy down. And we'll put that there. Uh, we'll go ahead and load him up because that's going to be really helpful when we're fighting up close. 
Ooh, and I'm hungry. Uh, oh, good. There we go. All right. So those aren't very helpful. Wait, I didn't get everything out of here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we want, we definitely want this stuff and uh, padded boots. What are we wearing already? Just regular boots. Yeah, let's just, uh, we'll scrap those, I guess. Uh, iron leg armor is pretty nice. Let's just grab all of those. See what's in the shotgun messiah crate here. We have to go get something to eat, and I'm scared to eat those sandwiches because I don't want to get sick, and I certainly don't want to lose any more hit points. Oh, knuckle wraps, that's nice. And uh, magazine extender mod, okay. And we already have the muzzle brake on there, so we'll hang on to that. Hopefully find ourselves another weapon here soon. Honestly, this is a really, really good haul uh, for day six. Let's go unload our pockets and get our things situated because we have some more things to look for. All right, crab fam, well, just a little update. Uh, we cooked a little bit of burnt meat here. We didn't take the perks yet, and this is going to make my water go down. Uh, we haven't taken the perks uh, to give ourselves the better cooking recipes because I am trying to so expeditiously get us uh, some transportation so that we can get around and do what we need to do. It is hour 13. I am a little bit worried about jumping into a larger point of interest, but honestly, we're going to need some food, and I would really like a little bit more cobblestone so that we can get up into the crabicle uh, and do what we know needs to be done but I don't think we've been uh, to this house just yet. Yeah, so I don't think so. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to at least poke our nose into this place, see what all we can find, and bebop back on over there to our base and get this thing put together before Yes, Jimmy. Go in there. Will you stop interrupting me? <laughs> before the horde gets here, just let's go. Come on. Um, hello? Crabs here. Hopefully you have some stuff for me to take. Ooh, what is this? You can craft shotgun magazine tube mods. That's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and take that. Looks like we have a, uh... Ooh, we have a visitor. All right, let's treat him right. Treated right. So I'd like to make a note in case anyone comments on it, but the steel armor I found earlier, I actually went ahead and just scrapped for the iron. I don't want to burden myself with level one armor at this point uh, because we are going to need all the pockets we can get, all the mod pockets we can get on the higher tiered, lower level armor, if you follow. Uh, so I scrapped those. We got like 300 pieces of iron for it. I have it right here. Uh, actually, we have about 500. And this is the stuff that we found. We have some lock picks because we actually have some safes in our house that we need to go loot. One thing I also forgot about, we need to move our land claim block. If you remember, we had some spawns on top of the house that tried to break through. If we move our land claim block, hopefully the bounding box will be able to stop those zombies uh, from coming on the roof and getting at us from there. We aren't as well protected there uh, as we really need to be. So I uh, will pop this open right quick, see if there's anything behind there. Uh, we have a little bit of time left. Oh, great. We have some stuff. So uh, jars, good. Uh, yeah, so we need to pop back on over there and get some work done. We still have a few things we need to do. No match for the crab! All right, just a quick inventory look before we head upstairs. Uh, we have a little bit of food here. We're going ahead and eating that. We'll get rid of this office chair and scrap the things that we normally scrap. We need to make some more Molotov cocktails. How We can make three more because what is the thing? We need gas. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and just use those. Uh, we'll drink one of these waters right here. And we found the Itsy Bitsy Spider Challenge, which I think we've already read. Yeah, it looks like it's grayed out there. So uh, we're not going to be able to read that one. We'll just have to save it for later until after we've done the quest uh, for now we're hoping did I just punch that person through the wall are you okay oh yeah come on over sweetheart so it looks like we're finding a little bit of food in the kitchen that's always a good spot to find food right right uh, a little bit of coffee this is good. This is good. We'll go ahead and take those jars. I was skipping them earlier, but it looks like we really need them for the Molotov cocktails, and I don't have any uh, back at the base because uh, I have used them all for those Molotovs. Let's pop in here, and maybe there's some more food in this purse right here. Let's see. Uh, just some bandages. That first aid kit's going to be nice. Uh, one thing I am going to continuously perk up uh, is the 
the perk that allows you to resist pain. So pain tolerance. That's one that we're going to continue working on because that's going to be really helpful since we're fighting with our fists. You can expect that to be one that we focus on along the way. For now, let's finish up this kitchen and head back over, over to the base. All right, picking up some chairs for the... Man, it's always cheerleaders. Man, the apocalypse is just saturated with high school athletes. Back up, lady. Driving me crazy. Why can't we have, like, engineers or someone who could quickly and in short supply give me a bicycle? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Thought you could sneak up on the crab, didn't you, homie? Look alive. Face punch! All right, we're headed upstairs. These iron knuckles really are giving us their money back. No, 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 not a dog! That's right! Punching a dog! Punching a dog! Punching him! Punching him! Oh, my gosh. I can't handle any more of this. Anybody in here? Uh-oh. There's a couple of them. Let's do it! Whoa! All right, we're making our way pretty quickly through this house. Only 1,700 hours. Not a whole lot. What is that there? Ammo? Nice. Good, good ammo. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, we're making our way through this house pretty quickly. And hopefully we'll have some time to work on our base like we need to. Oh, that's just a place we've already been. And what's in there? Anything in there? Whoa! How did you not hear me walk over here, man? I was talking and telling jokes. It doesn't matter. All right, a safe! Okay, do we have time to go in there? Uh, all right, let's see if we can do this safe in maybe one or two tries. Excellent! Only two lockpicks. We only broke one, though. Okay, uh, what do we have here? Uh, a bow. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. Uh, we can put this tempered blade mod on our new knife here, and um, we need to get rid of some stuff. Let's go ahead and take these steroids. And we'll get rid of that chair. We'll go ahead and take that medicine there and grab those bullets. Good. We got some stuff. Let's move on. All right. So the steroids make us move a little bit faster. Wow. Man. Okay. I hear... Oh, my goodness. Whoa! Oh, here they come. Here, but I believe we've already killed all the zombies, right? Like 30 of them fell through that hole. All right, a munitions box, working stiff tools. Let's see. Uh, I wonder if that is a crate okay, or a plug. We'll pop that open in just a second. Uh, let's see what's in these guys, and I'll show you what we get. Ooh, this one is particularly nice. Okay, uh, baseball bat doesn't sell for much. Let's scrap it. What do we have here? Bar brawling. Oh, this is great. 10% more damage with fists, leather, iron, and spike knuckle weapons. Yes, sir. What is this one here? Rage mode. After getting hit, brawling attacks are 20% faster and increase movement speed by 10%. Wow, we're so fortunate. Okay, and we have a better blunderbuss, and we've leveled up. It's such a good day. All right, let's grab this stuff. Do we have padded gloves yet? Let's wear those. Yep, so we didn't have those at all. Uh, we're going to scrap the iron chest, bring down this, and we're going to replace our level 2 with the level 3 and scrap this one. Uh, I may regret it later, but for now, let's get into here. We have a little bit of work to do. The spirit clown is ringing the thunder bell. All right, 1,900 hours. We have to get a little bit of wood going, and then we're going to walk inside and fortify the stairs, fortify our bailout tower right there, fortify our room, and put down our land claim block inside. Let's get going.
on food, but we've got plenty of ammunition. We've plugged up the major hole, and we've left him a row without spikes. Let's do... I'm coming for you, crap clown Jimmy. Oh, that just got really creepy. Let's do this. like they're pretty close to breaking through uh, that first hatch right there. We have a couple of loot bags to deal with, which will be really exciting, but we have held off most of this horde uh, with our blunderbuss, and it's very possible that that was the last shot I can take. Yeah, it looks like it's broken there. So let's go ahead and knock out a few with some arrows here, and then they'll be here in just a minute to be punched in the face by the crab! Ooh, it's actually really hard to punch them when they are on fire. So I'm gonna let that fire cool off first, and then we'll uh, we'll go punch whoever's left. That may have been it. Oh, I hear some more footsteps. All right, let's make sure this one is upgraded, and we'll punch these guys. What a super aggressive fight. I certainly don't hear anymore. So let's take an opportunity. I don't have any loot candy. Let's take an opportunity to get what's in our loot bags here. Uh, food is definitely going to be nice. I didn't take much damage at all. Or if I did, I've already healed it up. So we'll grab that. Hopefully there's some more food in here. We'll take the cornmeal and uh, the water, of course. And then, if, man, they want, really want me to have a stone sledgehammer. Well, uh, we don't want it. So, we have our pistol. Let's have a look here. Uh, they didn't really get into these side spikes at all, so now we know that we really have to put them in the middle, which really makes more sense anyway. Have a quick look around. I don't see any new holes over here anywhere. Uh, let's see. Nope, not over here. Well, I guess they kind of punched on that wall for a minute. And over here, nope, That's we're standing directly above that. You can see where I've been uh, putting cobblestone in there. So, uh, yeah, so far our plan is still holding out, Crab Fam. Uh, this is going really, really well. I'm going to use the night to continue to get more resources. Uh, I think we scored two more levels. Let's go ahead and spend them. Drop one into intellect. Now we are level four. Go over here to Grease Monkey. Boom, now we can do the bicycle. Uh, maybe I'll get enough tonight to get started on the mini bike. If not, we will definitely get there in part seven. Right now, guys, thank you so much for watching. I've really enjoyed getting to connect with you in the comments. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. I'd love to connect with you there. Uh, stick around for more Clown Town, and we will see you at the top of day seven. <laughs>